Hey guys, this is Don't Pick Us Too Hard on YouTube. Um, this is this video is. Well, I guess that's not a good thing. Uh, my last review of the AGM MP40. Uh, that one was a was a, a dud. It wasn't a good. It was a it was a factory mistake. And so this is my brand new one. There's also has a lot less scratches on it, and it's really really nice. A lot better than the other one. Now this one also had a previous problem as well, which is, which is very very frustrating. But then um, somebody repaired it for me. So this one worked for me really well. I'm just gonna make a better review of this one shooting. This time I also have a target instead of shoot just uh, shooting down range. I'm using biodegradable BBs. Five thousand BBs I didn't get off the internet or Walmart. I just got them at a store called Paintball Central. All right. So we're going to go on with the test of shooting. Okay. So let's let us go and shoot the AGM MP40. For semi-automatic. Okay, so now now the tissue box. Oh, it fell over. At least we can see the back of it, because then I can go full out on the back. Now full out on the, on the target box. Now on the tissue box. So this gun is really, really reliable on that. And if you get an AGM MP40, I recommend you get a pistol like mine and a holster. And also, now that we've done that, um, this is this is gonna be a video review of the SP2022. This is a uh, spring pistol, 300 about 300 to 315 FPS, 24 round mag. Um, so safety, then ready to shoot. 24 round mag. I probably already said that, but we're also going to be shooting over there. It's got a really powerful spring that I'd recommend this gun to anybody. I should go at this at a sports goods, a sporting goods store. So let's go ahead and fire. It. Another hit. See how good this pistol is? A hit at the tissue box. A direct hit. It's a good gun. Altogether, this gun was about twenty nine ninety nine. Plus the holster, it was fifty dollars. But this was absolutely worth it. I even got I like the first time whenever I started, whenever I started cocking it back, I had like a whole bunch of trouble. I like um I cut, tried it, then it went pow, it slashed me, it slashed my thumb. Which one was it? Oh yeah, this one. It's got like a little cut on it. But um. If you do this, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to make a little popping noise. I'm just going to aim down the sights there for a second. All, all pistols, I think, have good sights. I haven't seen one pistol that has. Powerful, just absolutely a great thing. 
good hop up. I recommend using uh, .12 for this pistol. I, I'm using .2 right now. .2 dr kind of drops. And the way .2 drops, like, um, I'd be scared to use .25 to see what would happen to this. Windy today. All right, so we're out. Nine millimeter, Sig, Sig Pro nine millimeter. Also. This also can take a speed load, or you can load them in by hand. BB pushing down. As well as BB, as you can see. So, um, I think this is pretty much all. And, uh, I'm going to shoot the AGM MP40 one last time with biodegradable BBs. Because this thing is really good. Did you guys know that airsoft is, um, like, most paintballers are getting into airsoft now? It's pretty much the same. I don't know if that's going Wow, I ran my speed load around. I think there's also a difference between biodegradable BBs and not that. Because the biodegradable seem darker. Don't know what my AGM MP40 did for there for a second. And, so, and if your AGM MP40 is picky like mine and the magazine wants to come out, you can uh, take advantage of its um, heavy weight and just hold it by the mag. And the weight of the and the weight of the gun will keep the mag inside the gun and, and uh, keep it from falling out. All right, so let's do this one more time. Only full auto, not 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 even one semi auto burst. So, look in front of that. So, I think this video will end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching.